Hey, good morning, guys. My last video, I told you I was going to probably try Penn's Creek. Well, that's where I'm at, Penn's Creek, okay? And uh, my buddy lives close to here and says the fishing's been decent. So um, I'm going to be out here for two days. I think I'm going to fish. I might fish Penn's Creek two days and he might Penn's and then, then back to the little J. I don't know. See how today goes, though, okay? Um, not really a lot of bugs my buddy said on the water so um <clears throat> uh, we're just going to be nymphing today uh, with that being said nymphing i want to show you uh my new rod and uh <laughs> you guys are thinking another new rod well this rod i did not pay any well barely anything for um i'll talk about the program in a second but let me show you the rod this is an echo Echo Shadow X 11 foot 3 weight. Okay, this is a fast action rod. Okay, I like fast action rods even for nymphing. Usually they say fast in the butt up to the middle and lighter tip. I don't know yet. I didn't really get the feel for it. Didn't even take a cast with it yet. But uh, what I want to talk about is Feathercraft. Feathercraft, I guess, boy, I don't know if it's called Feathercraft Outfitters or Feathercraft, whatever. They're out in Missouri. And um, they have a trade-in program where you send them. You got to have a still decent rod, and you can't send them junk. And uh, they will give you uh, a fair price uh, towards store credit. And uh, that's what I did. I took a couple of my old rods I haven't used in a long time. They were in great shape. They gave me great prices. I, I can't say to be better, or I didn't have to go through the hassle of trying to find somebody to buy them and ship them or anything like that. I sent them into them. I was happy with their prices. I pretty much almost paid for the rod, so it didn't really cost me anything. Uh, my Marriott rod is a ten and a half foot three weight. Uh, that's pretty much fast in the butt and light on the tip. Like I said, this one at least when I looked up Echo, I love Echo rods. I really do. And I didn't know about this Shadow X before I purchased the Marriott, but I'm not saying it's any better. I just, you know, whatever fishermen just like hunters just like women in their shoes you know usually have too many <laughs> and um like i said it didn't barely cost me anything so eh, what, what's the harm but it's an 11 foot okay and on the echo website they like they suggest sometimes to overweight the rod with one more like a three and a half or a four weight line so this i have my four weight reel on and this is a brand new line um i think this is a wolf triangle triangle taper but yeah, I think it's a wolf triangle taper. Um, three, uh, three, uh, three weight or four weight um, weight forward, floating, floating. Okay, and um, so we're gonna try it out today. And um, so let me just show you what I'm using. Okay, we'll get busy right here. Um, it's just not necessarily exactly where I want to start. This is right where I parked, but um, uh, you know, I'm just gonna try here. Just first couple casts okay and then I don't know my buddy's supposed to meet me here in about an hour hour and a half so um okay so let's get started here I'll put you on my hat I'll show you what I'm using okay okay um let me get my line out a little more okay I'm using <laughs> my ever popular and go-to point fly my glow bug pale yellow okay it's got a little gold bead in it uh, that I'm trying my isonychia this is actually a dark brown stone fly um, yeah but I didn't put the four well I did put a fork tail but then I went back and I tied on some regular isonychia tail with the ostrich hurl <laughs> so it's a combination and then I have my Frenchie tied up some more my Frenchie it has a fine gold rib Okay, has a fine gold rib. Let me get it up a little higher. Fine gold rib. And um, I don't use uh, pheasant tail. I use just dark brown um, uh, SLF, I guess it is. SLF fur. And then my uh, chartreuse hot collar. This is ice dub. So it's got a little, it is sparkly. It's not uh, It's not a, a, like a dull dub, dubbing. This has sparkly um, ice dub chartreuse color. And then... These are new gold beads I'm trying out. You think, well, what's the big thing about gold beads? Well, really nothing. Um, this is, these are texturized. I called them texturized, but I think their name is called gritty, gritty beads. And I got them from Feathercraft also. And they are 
slightly a little bit brighter and have a little bit of a sparkle to them so eh, i'm just gonna try it out okay it's at the 330 seconds and um and this is on a size 16 hook but when you put the bead on it's basically like a size 18 fly that you know the that's on a you know the cat is bent so if you put on a bead it you know makes it look appear a little smaller so this is very very shallow right in front of me i mean i'm lucky if it looks like it's a foot deep so i hope i don't get hung up here for my first couple casts but um if it does we'll pick it up again downstream in a slightly deeper area so there we go first cast in okay guys <laughs> i have been here an hour not a single hit i changed my rig up three times had my first rig on i tried a streamer a light, a white color streamer i tried a dark streamer nothing so i put on a walt worm a hair's ear nymph size 16 and then i put on a um olive midge pupa first cast in i got him on the olive midge pupa okay and this is like a size 22 maybe 22 24 i'll show you kind of unique tie i'll show it to you it's not like your typical okay nice fish look at that look at that i just sharpened this hook up too wasn't even wasn't that sharp oh come on fish come on get him up to your drag him jeez he is just come on nice fish okay look at that first fish on pens this year good 14 15 inches man shoulder 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 look at that I was here after I I'll show it to you okay wow well, it Ah, beautiful. I knew there had to be a fish in this run. Okay, let me show you this. Got a little. Okay, I'll show it to you up there. Got a gold bead. About a 20, 22, 24 caddis bend hook. It's got a uh, olive thread body with a chartreuse rib. And the black collar, it's got some Antron tuft, like a, like a midge emerger, and then the gold bead up front, okay? So there you go, okay. First cast in. <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh, I got it. Oh, <laughs> nice fish. Okay. Brett's got his first one on over there. He just got here maybe about 15, 20 minutes ago. And actually, he had one on. He said he rolled it, and then he just picked up this one. We were chit-chatting for a while, and he first or second cast in, he he landed. I mean, he hooked up to this one. So we'll watch him from here. I think he said he has a stone fly on and an olive nymph. So I'll have to see which one he gets it on. And now we're fishing like one and a half, uh, one one and a half at most two foot. Tight, uh, deep water so on the, on the olive okay nice come on baby nice ooh pens Pens is waking up. There you go. Get that boy in here. Nice. Wow. Good 15, 16? Yeah. yeah. Look at that baby. Nice fish. Okay. Okay guys. On my second hookup now. And uh see which one this is on. He's staying deep. Feels decent. He's either on the, I don't, uh, I think he might be, I don't know, I can't tell yet. I see the glow bug, so I know he's either on, oh, 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 nice fish, oh, nice fish, nice fish. I gotta go down for him. Boy, you don't walk around Penn's Creek too much chasing fish, though. 
This is dangerous water. Yes! I can't tell what he's on yet. Either my stone fly or, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I think I have a Frenchie on. Come on, fishy. Come on, fishy. Oh my God, I know this is in the glare, guys. So. Okay, get a move on this side. Okay. Oh, he's a, he got a double. Woohoo! Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, I wish I could come down, but I can't. <laughs> this is on the Frenchie. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Look at that. Look at this baby. Oh, this is easy. 17, maybe 18 inches. Hoo wee. Easy 17, maybe 18. Good lordy. Look at that baby. Oh my gosh. And there's that Frenchie sticking out of his mouth. Same one I use on a little jay. Okay. Look at that fish. Oh my god. Longer than my net opening. Look how long that is. Watch this. Ooh. Okay. He's gonna jump in my pocket. <laughs> Where's my first jumper? <laughs> and he is on the Isonechia or the brownstone fly, this one is. He's about 12, 13 inches. Oh, come here, buddy. Come here, come here. There you go. Okay. That was a good one. Okay. Okay, there you go. Man. Woo! Super muscular fish. Huh? My spider is on. Oh, geez, he tore it up. He tore it up. Okay. Hey. Brett's got a hook up here. Nice one. He said he missed a couple hits up there, so. You think that was the one you missed a couple times? Oh, yeah. Yeah? I, uh, I gave it to him at a, like a different angle. Okay. Yeah, Lance Egan. <laughs> your buddy. Your buddy, Lance Egan. <laughs> it used to be George. <laughs> don't, don't say that around pens. <laughs> no, because George is from here. <laughs> Lance. <laughs> what about, um, what about, uh, what's he on? No, no. What, what's the fish on? Oh, what's it look like? <laughs> Don't tell me a nymph. <laughs> what color nymph? Okay. <laughs> I think you close your eyes and put your hand in your nymph box and just pull out one and tie it on. <laughs> You just grab, you grab a material and <laughs> just start tying it on the hook. Ah, it'll catch fish. <laughs> hey guys, I got a nice one on. Brett, nice one. Another time where I thought it was a snag. Oh, I'm telling you, this is nice. Super nice. Nice fish. He is just like a rock. Oh, there you go. He's on there. Man, big fish. He is just. He 
Look at just staying in one spot. Oh, there he comes, coming over this way a little. I don't keep him away from that big rock. He's trying to find shelter near that big rock. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Nice fish. He, I think, I, I don't know what he's on. He's either on my Frenchie or my Olive Midge Emerger. And that's a small hook. I gotta play him carefully. Right in front of me. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's on the Olive Midge Emerger. Olive Midge Emerger. Look at that, baby. Oh, yeah. Come here, buddy. Oh, yes. Wow. Well, not as big as I thought he was. Good 16. 16. Good, good 16, but wide shoulders. Shoulders. Wow, wow. Oh, all right. There you go, guys. Is that a bee or what? Good and all of Woo! Hey, guys. Back into them again. Just good run. Uh, now this one doesn't feel as big. This one feels more like 12, 13. Okay. Man, after you fight those big boys, you kind of horse in these ones that are a little smaller. He's not that much smaller. He's at least 13. And they all got shoulders on them. Super strong fish here. This is on the Frenchie. Okay. Good. Good. 13, maybe even 14. 13, definitely. Okay. God, look at this golden stone. He's inch and a half. There's a mayfly here. I mean, he's got some wings starting to come out here. This nymph. There's one on my. He's about a size 18. Look at that big old boy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. He is just thick. Look at him. I wonder what color his underside is. Let's see. Oh, look at how light colored it is. Look at those mandibles going there. He wants to bite. Look at that. Dang. Woohoo. Okay. Uh oh, guys, I just had one on. Uh, there's another one. Oh, nice one. <laughs> see him. See him jump. <laughs> Boy, two casts in this hole, two fish. This one's nice. This one looks like he's about 15 inches. <laughs> he must have jumped 10 feet. <laughs> yeah, here he is. I don't know which one he's on. He looks like he's on the stonefly. He is. Nice fish. Okay. Nice fish. Okay, let's go. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, wow, we good 16 inches. Not 15, good 16. And he is on. Oh, I don't know what he's on yet. Uh -huh. Yeah. Stonefly. Look at that. Wow, we. Woo hoo. Here, boy. Thank you for the fight. 
Wowee, okay. I was on my big brown stone fly. Looks very similar to my Isonikia. Uh, so, okay, there he is, right there. Okay, another nice one. Another nice one. Oh my God, I caught him up in the shallows. Okay, he's out there. Over near that dark spot. Uh, that last one was on the big brown stone. This one looks like it is too, but I can't tell yet. He's staying. No, this is on the Frenchie. Looks like. Looks like he's on the Frenchie. Might keep him in this calmer water. Ho ho. Ho ho. He's fighting, he's heavy. Heavy fish. Uh, yep, he's on the he is on the Frenchie. Nice. Okay. Let's get him up. Get him up, 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 okay, yes, whoo, 16 again, the fat, 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 oh, came out, the fat came out, whoo-hoo, okay, good, okay, look at that, Oh my gosh, oh my god, oh my god. Woohoo! Okay. Tell you what. Okay, you know what? Nope. Oh. That was on the Frenchie. Let's go back up here again. Boy, I like when the sun was out. I could see the rocks and kind of direct it all around. Let's go again. He was up in the shallows, though. Okay, let's take him up back up there again. Now, there's got to be more staging in there. Got to be more fish. Staging in these at the head of this run here. Let's go out a little more. Okay. Right there, right there. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. There he goes, there he goes. Nice, nice one. Yeah. Oh, 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 he's going, he's going. He hit the current. He's out in that deep water, or fast water, and deep. Up in that shallow water, man. Oh, nice. I don't think it's as big as the first two, but hard to tell right now. He's just fighting harder. Hey, that's the first one I got on film for you today. Okay, nice. Now, I can bring him in by hand now. Got him up next to the shore here. He's at least 15. He might be just around the same size. 16, he looks at least 15. Man, these fish are solid, just solid muscle. Uh oh, look at this. I got a, I got a, oh, get under there. <laughs> I had a branch. 
probably that branch I pulled in. Look at that. That's at least 16. Again, on the Frenchie. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. I was on my straw hack. Uh oh. Okay. There we go. Another nice one. Woo! Look at that. Oh my gosh. That was on the hair's ear soft tackle. We saw some stone flies flying around and... Uh, yeah, that same... There he was. Okay guys, we got some calmer water. Looks like a little bit of a back eddy and a bunch of bubbles and suds over there. So... <laughs> I know George says in his book, George Daniels, man, where there's suds, there's fish. Oh, look at there you go. Oh, it just got off. First drift in there. Oh, another one. Look at that. Two casts, two fish. This one ain't getting off though. Ha ha. That first one looked like he was around 13. This one looks this one a little bigger. Ha ha. Okay. Decent. Okay, this is on the uh, big brown stone. Damn, man. Big brown stone. This is a lot shallower up here than it was down there, so I took a, one of the split shots off. I still have one. Come on, buddy. Oh, this is a good 15 inches. Let's see. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh! Easy 15. Yeah, 15. Mm -mm -mm. on, big brown stone. Come on, boy. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, we'll get her out. Oh, cool. Hopped out of the net. <laughs> I'll fight him again. Come here, buddy. What are you at? It's between my legs. It's between my legs. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay. Hey guys, I put another split shot on. Got deeper. Yo! Brett's got one on up there. He's walking downstream with it, so it must. Oh! <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for him. <laughs> oh, <it's> a... <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen to me with the one I got on. <laughs> I don't know how big it is. <laughs> Ooh, it's big though. And I got him on the big brown stone. The big brown stone. No, I don't. No, I don't. I see the big brown stone, so I don't know what I have him on. Uh, he looks like he is on. Bring him up to the surface. He's staying deep. Oh, he is on the uh, hair's ear soft tackle. Wow, wee. Hair's ear soft tackle. Another nice fish. Man, these are, shoo, this is like, oh, now Mayan just got off. Uh, he looked like he was about 16, 17. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh well. Okay, I'll show you a couple casts here. Uh, oh my gosh. You know what? After I put this in, let me, um, just check my flies. If that happens, always check your flies. Go up, come down. Okay. Big brown stone's okay. Frenchie's okay. And, oh, look at that. Look how open that is. Ah, hate to bend it back, but I'll bend it back. Yeah, I caught a ton of fish on this. Caught a bunch yesterday on the tully on it. And this is the one I was using up at the Cinema Honing and on Little J. So this, <laughs> this fly has definitely caught a ton of fish. Ah, oh, man. 
I, I, if that if that opens up again, I'll definitely change it. Oh my God! I got this fish right against the bank. Super fast water. Super fast water. He is staying deep. I haven't even seen him yet. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh look at him! He's going nuts behind me, right next to me. He's actually behind me. Jeez, where is he at? Oh my gosh! He's going. He's fighting me upstream. Oh my gosh! He is in the fastest water. I haven't even seen him yet. I don't know how big he is, anything. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Come on. Oh no. I mean, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I gotta get on the bank. <laughs> I gotta get on the bank. I'm not gonna pull too hard on him. Just keep tension on him. Let me get him on the reel. Oh my gosh. Man, I'm... That fish went... Made a circle completely around me. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Man. Okay. He's in that water, man. He's staying deep. Staying deep. Oh, Lord. Oh. Come on, fish. I mean, I can't budge him. I cannot budge him. Oh. oh he just jumped, but I didn't see him. I was looking down where I was walking. Oh, uh, uh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I tell you what. These big trout, they drain the life out of me. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> After you run around the Cricker River. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Probably gonna have a heart condition. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, good morning guys. Last time I saw you was last evening. I guess it was somewhere around 5 o'clock, 5.30. Uh, I was fighting that <laughs> really nice fish in the rifts, and uh, he got off, huh, like they always do. But I stayed up here overnight, and I want to hit pens again today. So listen, I'm going to give a plug for where I stayed at. This place, it's a bed and breakfast. This is off of the lower pens down there, Whitegirt and Cherry Run and Glen Iron area. Um... This is over the mountain on 235 in a little town called Truxlerville. And the uh, bed and breakfast is Breezy Timbers B&B, &B, okay? You guys coming up to this lower section, excellent, excellent place. Very reasonable rates, very, very clean, almost like brand new looking. And um, great accommodations, great food. I mean, it was absolutely excellent. Um, I think it's only like $75 a night during the weekday. I think it's in the 90s on the weekend. But um, great, great place. And uh, it's only eh, 15, 20 minutes from Lower Pens, okay? So I want to give them a plug. Look them up on the website, on their website, and um, make reservations for them if you guys are coming up to this lower section. It's not good for the upper section because you got a big mountain to go around and it's, it's way out of the way for the upper section, okay? So, I'm um, back here in the lower section again, and I'm supposed to meet my buddy again. He'll be here in about two hours, and um, uh, I'll show you the water here, okay? Here's a riffle, a set of riffles down there, and I got about a good 100 yards, and I got riffles up there. So, this all looks gorgeous, although we hit a ton of water yesterday that was gorgeous, and it was just very spotty. I mean, I caught about 10 fish. And um, lost about 10 fish. <laughs> a couple big ones I lost. And um, so I'm going with my 
big brown stone again, the Frenchie again, and the uh, hair's ear soft tackle again. From like one o'clock to five o'clock, even when we were leaving, there was Hendrickson's on the water, a good amount. Not since they on the water, they were taken off. Okay, not many of them hit the surface. So all about just a, a handful, two like two fish rise, but it didn't bring any other fish up to the surface. But it had the fish feeding underneath uh, the last spot I was at where I lost that big one up near Cherry Run, um, I had five on up there. And every single one of them got off. Didn't land one of them. But, I mean, they were hitting. They were in super, super fast water. And moderately fast again. So they are in the rifts <laughs> looking for bugs. Okay, you're in this fast water too. Um, so we're going to get started here. I'm going to start like on this lower section of this here and then work my way up to those rifts. And I don't, I'm don't, i definitely going to go down to the because I've got to work my way upstream to meet my buddy. But maybe I'll bring him down here uh, after I hook up with him, okay? Uh, depending on how good things are this morning. It's 32 degrees. It was just flurrying. <laughs> That's why I got a, a hood on and um, it's breezy. They said it, the winds were only supposed to be like 8 miles an hour, but they're already at 8 and with breezes in the teens right now. So, um, but they're supposed to get up to the mid-50s again. So, well, let's hope so, okay? I don't have my mittens on because I'm supposed to get warmer and warmer, so I don't want to carry them around. Okay, I'll put you on my hat and let's get started here. I'm going to show you the first couple casts until I kind of figure them out again. Okay, I'm trying to see where I want to kind of go in first. I see a, a branch in the water right there. But boy, that whole section, even on the further side, I don't know if I can. It looks, I mean, it's definitely swift. And I don't know definitely how deep it is. Hard to tell. So let me just get on the edge right here. Uh, yesterday was my first day with the Shadow X uh, nymphing rod, 11 foot 3 weight. I'm using my 4 weight line on it. And, uh, you know, I said I want to give it before I give my opinion on it. Um, I mean, it's really nice and comfortable. I like it has a thinner handle than the Marriott. And um, so I like that. I like thinner handles. And um, I got my Lamps and Conic reel with it. So if fish takes drag that you're going to hear the, hear the clicking and um but feels very well balanced and uh has some little <laughs> drawings there on the handle this is carbon fiber insert and um so okay um so let's go first cast in what do i want to do right here i got two number four split shots on this isn't deep right here this is only about a foot and a half close to two foot and probably don't need two here but I'm gonna leave it on for now if I have to take it off I will oh, there's. that came right out though I didn't catch one fish yesterday on the swing not one fish this lower end. I'll do a swing here right at the tail of this pool. Okay. Boom. can't wait to get up to the head up there. Boy, I've been really having a lot of my hits yesterday came at the head of rifts. Okay, listen, we'll be back, like I said, hopefully with a hookup soon, and uh, if I, like I said, if I get into a rhythm, then hopefully we can get something on uh, film for you today, okay? Hey guys, been here in about 10 minutes, got my first hookup here, staying deep on me. Stand deep on me. Okay. Going upstream. Come on, buddy. Man, 
it's a heavy fish. That's all I know. It's a nice fish. Don't know yet what he's on. Man, he is... Oh, get him out of there. Oh, he came off. Golly. Killing me. Just killing me. Wow. No idea how I'm... He went actually around the rock down there. There's a black rock and I hope it didn't... No, he didn't break anything. It just came off. But as soon as he went around that rock down there, I could see my... <laughs> see my... Um, see how it's curled? So I think it went around the rock and got tight. I'm going to change that tippet. Look at that. Okay, you see how that's all curled there? There's a black rock. He went around it, got all tightened up and just came off. Some of these guys just know how to fight. So, ah! okay, be back. Hey guys, we're at the end of the rifts up here. Basically, the head of this pool, though. Um, <laughs> my luck still continues from yesterday. Just big fish getting off. My line, something tugged on it downstream. Do that again. Come on. If there was a fish, I stung him. There he is, there he is, there he is. Yay, hold on. This one's not bad. We got 14. Okay. And this is on the big brown stone. Yeah, it's so weird. I told my buddy the other day, after you cook into 16, 17 big trout like that, you get something like 12, 13, 14 inches, and you're like, ah, let me just get this little guy off. <laughs> and they're beautiful fish. Okay, I like that. Oh, clean it out already. There you go. Yeah, 13. Okay. So, we're on board. Batting a 333. <laughs> One out of three. <laughs> okay. Time to get that batting average up or I'm going to get treated. <laughs> I'm going to get treated to another team. <laughs> Okay, that was on the big brown stone. Let's go out here again. Man, it's fast water. Let's try to get another. Beautiful. Good drifts, good drifts. Oh, there he goes. Ho oh, ho, he hit on the swing. Hey, how did I get ready to cast again? Okay. Let's see what this guy is. Wow, we two fish on one video clip. <laughs> okay. Oh, not bad. Not bad. About the same size as the last one. And this is again on the big brown stone. Okay, so let's bring this guy over to the calmer water. Get him up here. Come on, buddy. Nice. Uh, okay. 
Oh, the big brown stone. Uh, this one's a little bigger. This one might go 13. The other one goes more like 12. out a nice middle section in there there's like you can see it all, all looks fast but it's like fast really fast then just fast and then really fast again so you gotta pick out these little seams and fish them individually okay I mean sometimes I am searching but most of the time I have a target spot in mind most times so I had that one hit on the swing and I had that one caught that one on the swing so I gotta give the swing a little bit more attention now steps out I'm gonna get right up against this big rock right here I really fished just on the other side of this rock probably a good 20 drifts okay here we go boom up in the white water I'm always excited to take my first cast into a new spot, even if it's just a couple steps out. That first cast always seems to like, <laughs> highest percentage, first time it's drifting through a new area. Something's got to whack it in there. Boom. Up a little bit higher. Come on, get up there. Oh, there he goes. There he is. There he is. There he is. That was pretty high up, and that was on the shallow side of it. And this one feels good, too. This one... He's on the reel. This one, so let's hold on to this boy. I'm, uh, two for four, so I'm at 500. Ha! <laughs> okay. So let's put me over 500. You know, you're about over 500 in the big leagues and they pay you millions of dollars. <laughs> hey, let's bring him out of that fast water. Good, get him over here. That doesn't mean I'm gonna keep him here. But, let's see. I can't see him yet, he's staying deep. Oh, come on, buddy. Now he's not fighting as hard, so I don't think he's that big. Let me see. Is he? No, looks like about the size of the others, I don't. Get a good 
the spot on them yet. Oh, well, nice. Oh, this one's good. Each, I think they're getting each a teeny bit bigger. <laughs> on the big brown stone. There you go. Look at that one. That one's easy for side. 12, 13, 14. This one might even hit 15. Wow. Heavy, heavy fish. Huh? All right, easy 15 inches. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now I'm tangled up in my net here. Okay, I turned you on and just turned you right back on again. Sometimes those longer clips are hard to, harder to edit. Okay, so let's go back over. Got black rock up there and the black rock there. I caught him right behind that black rock. So let's, maybe there's another one there. Boom. Right there, right there. Come on, whack it. Is he in there? He's on there. There you go. Another one in there. Okay. Another one in that fast water. Okay. Ooh, this one. Man, shaking his head. Shaking his head. That was a soft take. Man, he's shaking his head. Okay, so as far as fish size, we're trending upward. <laughs> so, uh, I don't think, I don't know. About the same size as the others. I'll bring him up on this calmer water over here behind me. And uh, well, around the same, 13, looks like around there. Okay. Come on, buddy, come on. He is on the Frenchie. Oh, look at that Frenchie sticking right out of his mouth. Huh? Okay. Oh, good. 13, 14. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to try to inch my way across this. It's about knee high or no, this is about mid thigh. Mid thigh, good two and a half foot deep. Okay. Boom. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Well, let's try to swing. Uh, okay. I'll try to inch across. Oops. Now I'm upper thigh. <laughs> don't don't try this guys. <laughs> don't do what I do. Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> One day you're gonna find me floating down a river. There he goes. There he is. There he is. That looks like around the same size again. Oh, man. How about that? Five out of seven. Lost its first two big ones. Man. Well, I didn't land this guy yet, so. But I think he's on the big brown stone. See, but now I'm fighting him in this fast water. I can't bring him over to the calmer water. I'm in the middle of it. 
Okay. Oh man, come on, buddy. Man, he's staying in that fast current. Come on, try to bring him down here. Keep him down low. Got a little bit of calm water. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, 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 stay down, stay down. Okay, there he is. See, come on, come on, get up here. Get up here. Ah, there you go. Good 13, 14. This one's got a buggered up fin like it was a stock one. <laughs> oh, well. Dude, he's on the Frenchie. I thought he was on the big brown stone, but he's on the Frenchie. It's sticking right out of his mouth. Uh, okay. Okie dokie. Let's do a couple drifts right in front of me again. Oh, there he goes. Right in front of me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, ooh, nice one. Oh, look at that baby. Oh, nice. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. He was right in front of me. Ooh, I don't even want to guess, but I'm going to guess about 16, 17. Keep this boy on. And he's shaking his head. Oh, man, I got to go down for him. <laughs> Come on. Oh, gosh. Loosen my drag up a little. Come out here to the outside. You can't chase a fish in the water on pens. <laughs> you just cannot do that. You're going to be killing yourself. Okay, let me get out of the water here. There he is right there. Ah, get in this calmer water. Ah. Oh, come on, buddy. See, it's one thing I... I mean, I don't mind getting a fish on a drag on, on, the, on, on the reel if he puts himself on, but... You have to have your drag set. You can't have it set too loose or he just play him till he's dead. And I don't like playing these fish that long. He is on the, uh, he's got on his head. He's on the big brown stone. Well, that's near his eye. Oh, look at that, baby. Oh, oh, 17 at least. Oh, my gosh. Hey, that's a buggered up eye. Oh, hey. Look at that, man. Oh, God. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. I will be back. I normally wouldn't fish this, but I have to today. <laughs> I just have to. These fish are in these shallow, fast water. You just gotta fish it. Get down a little bit right here. Uh, I was down there, so roughly about. 10 yards, maybe about 8, 9 yards. I mean, that's about a foot, foot and a half deep, but man, that water's moving. Oh my God, oh, it just had him on. Oh, right there. It wasn't big, it looked like around 11, 12 inches. Just rolled him. Look at that, see the super fast water they're in. Wow, that puts me at a six out of nine. Okay. There's gotta be one in here up in this fast water again still. Oh, there he goes, another one. Look at that. Man, there's fish in that fast water. Shallow fast water. Oh, 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 oh. He's staying deep. Going out again. Come on, man. Freak this fish. Walk. Haven't seen how big he is yet. Oh, ooh, nice. Nice, nice. I want to say it looks about the same as the other one. The one I just landed, but I uh, can't get that. I saw him come up and splash on the surface. 
Okay. Come on, buddy. He's got a big tail, I see that. Come on. Ah. Oh. There he is. There he is. Nice. Oh no. Come on, fish. Man, he is just staying in that. They get used to that fast water, man. Come on. Man, I can't budge him. Come on, buddy. Just staying deep. Come on, bring him over. Bring him over. Bring him over. Bring him over. Oh, oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Looks around. Now maybe a smidge smaller. Looks like a smidge smaller. I can't really tell yet. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Bring him over this calmer water. Look at him. There he is. He is on the Frenchie. The Frenchie and the big brown stone. Okay, look at that boy. Okay. Come on, get up here, 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 get up here. Yeah, no. Well, he's not much smaller than that last one. He's, if anything, maybe a half inch. <laughs> okay. There's a Frenchie. Throwing this way. Checking right hours now. Okay. I've got to maybe a half inch smaller. He's. Wow. Get back up in that fast water, boy. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Fast, fast water. Oh man. Right here near this big rock. So let's see. Boom. Oh, another one. Look at that. That's cast in. This might have been that first one <laughs> that I rolled. I said it was about 11 inches. And what's this one? Like 11 inches. He's on the big brown stone. Oh, the brookie. Ha ha. Look at that. A brookie. Wow, look. Nice. Got one on here near this big rock here, right next to. But I did not set the hook hard because of these branches again. So hopefully he stays on. Hopefully he's hooked good. <sighs> not a bad one. Looks like around 12, 13. Okay. Okay. There he is, right here. Nice, 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 nice. Come on, fishy. Come on, fishy. Come on, fishy. Ah. Come on, man. Let's go. Get up here. Get up here. He's on the Frenchie. Get that out of there. There's that Frenchie. I'm going right out now. Okay. I'm going to put this hook out for him. Oh, there I go. Okay. Hey guys. Whew. Walked a couple hundred yards downstream and picked into this monster. Nice size. I, I spooked, walking out here, I spooked the fish. He had to be 25 inches. He was just two foot long. I didn't see him until he spooked behind this rock and swam away real fast. This is a big fish. This is a big fish. Okay. This actually may be my biggest one this morning. <sighs> okay, 
looks like he's on. Uh, so I can't tell you. I'm looking for my fly. It looks like he's on the big brown stone. Is he? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so I can't tell. Yeah, I think. No. He looks like he's on the. And this is a rainbow. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? That's a big rainbow. Look at that. Look at that red stripe down. Oh my gosh. Look at that rainbow. Ooh, baby. Man, that is a big rainbow. He's easy. Looks like 17, 18 inches. And this is on the Frenchie. Look at this rainbow. Oh my gosh. You don't catch many rainbows in this section. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Easy 18 might even push 19. Oh my gosh. Look at that one. Oh my god. I'm gonna put this out as well. Okay. Okay. Okay, boys. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Whoosh, look at that red stripe down him. Peeps. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Whew. Yeah, he's minimum 18, maybe 19. 19 probably. Oh my gosh. Golly gee, that is big, big, big. Okay. Put him in. There he goes. Oh my gosh. Was that awesome? Was that awesome? You know, kind of want it's your day, it's your day. <laughs> I think today's my day. Okay, so that was 12, uh, 10 out of 13 we had on. Okay. Wowee. Wowee. Yeah, I passed up a lot of decent water, but it's kind of weird where these fish are. Seems that there's a nice hole and a rift going into a nice hole, and that's the good holding water that the fish, I don't know, maybe come at come out of the hole and move up into the rifts and then go back into the hole for like cover and I, I don't know I don't know but it's just hard to figure out the exact kind of water you want to fish up here because all of it looks excellent and you can spend like all day in like a maybe a rift that's 200 yards egg hey, uh, that's a stick and like a rift that's like 200 yards just hitting every little pocket seam and um, and then you go to another spot and there's uh, four or five fish all stacked up in one area there he goes there he goes oh nice one nice one nice one nice one nice one and he looks like he's like 12 13 this is a brownie and this is on the Frenchie Oh man, you guys tie up that Frenchie. And I, like I said, I don't use pheasant tail. I use brown SLF dubbing. And it's like a dark brown. I rib it. I'll show it to you again. I rib it with a fine gold wire. Hold on. Oh, come on, right? Twelve thirteen. Okay, look at this. This one I'm using the texturized gritty bead, but it doesn't matter. Okay. So I gotta put this up here high. Okay, this is this one I'm using is a size uh, fourteen caddis bend hook. But when you put the bead on, it makes it like a sixteen. Okay, it shortens up the body. And this is um, ice dub, UV ice dub chartreuse green okay like a fluorescent chartreuse green this is just brown dark brown slf dubbing you can't see it a little bit you can see because it's caught a bunch of fish already it's all there's a fine gold ribbing maybe you could probably use more medium or whatever but then i use fine gold um ribbing with this it's simple fly five minutes in half hour you can tie up five of them four or five of them okay 
Okay, let me. That's my last cast. And my buddy's here, so I gotta go up and meet him. Come on. Oh, there he is! Oh, good, look at that. Oh, look at that one! Oh, look at that boy! Nice fish! On the swing! Oh my gosh! Nice fish! He came up to the surface and hit that on the thing on the swing. Wow, wait! Another nice fish! Upper teens. I don't know which one he hit though. Wow, wait! Oh my gosh! Another rainbow? This can't be the same one. That, that, that fish can't be that stupid. I released him over here on this side. I can't believe he swam back over there and got back into position again. There's no way. This has got to be a different rainbow. But then again, how many big rainbows are there? This one's on the ice, on the, uh, the first. If it is the same fish. <laughs> if it is the same fish. Oh my gosh. This can't be the same fish, but it sure does look like the same fish. First time he hit, I think, was the Frenchie, and this one's on the big brown stone. So maybe he, if it is the same fish, that's weird. I can't believe that. He is coming in kind of easy. I, I mean, I'm 10 yards away from where I caught him. can't believe he'd go back into the same exact hole. Let's get him up here. Oh my gosh! Jeez, oh man! Well, he had one buggered up fin on the other side. So let's turn him over and look. Okay, he's got that big brown stone in there. Uh oh, stop! Stop! Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'll flip him over on this side. Take a look at him. Oh yeah, I bet it's the same fish. Oh my god! See that button? Mm. See that buggered up fin there? I cannot believe that. That has got to be the same fish. Unbelievable. Whoo! Well, he let me catch him twice. <laughs> That's what you call catch and release, catch and release. <laughs> Wowie. That's unbelievable. Wow. Okay. Guys, we're back into action. And, uh,. Nice pull up here. I want to hit, but I want to hit it from this side. So I'm working my way over to go up and hit this pull up here facing this way. And I picked up this guy next to these rocks up here. Pretty decent one. Let's see what he's on. Nice, nice. Heavy fish wide. Ooh, 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 nice. He is on the Frenchie. Don't go down there, buddy. Come up here. Come up here. Wide fish. Very wide. Come on. Uh oh. Seize me. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Come on. Get up here, buddy. Uh -oh. Come on. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he was nice. He was like 16, 17. Ah. Dang. I was horsing him. I was worse than because I didn't want him to go downstream. So let me make sure my flies are okay. He gets on top. I was letting him flop. That's okay. You guys saw him. Um, come here. Let me look at my flies. Yep, he was on the Frenchie. Okay, he was caught in the mail too. He just just flopped off. Hey guys, let's keep this one on here. Last four I lost. Come on, man. <sighs> He's just staying deep. Staying deep. Man, this is like the land of the giants. Penn's Creek. Oh my god, there's so many big fish here. Oh, what the heck? Got me into a snag? Oh, there he is. Came off. 
Yeah, he's off. He's off. Nice. Where's he at? Right in front of me. Okay. Oh my. Phew. Ha ha. Good 16, 17 inches. Okay. He is on the big round stone. Look at that. Huh? Oh wow. Whoo! Okay. That was. Okay. Help my average out a little bit up there. <laughs> okay. Alright, it's been a while. This guy is on the Frenchie. I think he is, I should say. Yeah, he is. He's on the Frenchie. Mm, super. This is like four or five foot deep here where I'm fishing. Uh, a little 12 incher. Hey guys, <laughs> this fast water still. Hey, okay, he is on the looks like the Frenchie, I think. Is it not? Um, no, he is on. Oh, another brookie. Wow, wait, look at that. Let's net him a little bigger. This one was. Well, maybe about the same. About 11 inches. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh God. Huh. Oh. 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 He was, he was on the uh, big round stone. Okay. Hey guys. This wind is just whipping. Whipping, whipping, whipping. God, it's blowing upstream and I'm casting upstream. Helps me out a little bit. <laughs> He's kind of coming right down in front of me. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there's another one. This looks like a brownie, though. I casted that straight up in front of me. Saw my line shoot up. <laughs> another brookie that was even bigger I thought there was a brownie oh my god that was another brookie that thing was at least 12 13 inches wow wonder what is it with brookies in this little section oh man those brookies never give up man they fight they fight more than other trout they just wiggle 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 There 
goes. Got him. Got him. Ha. Yeah. <laughs> it, took, it took me two kicks. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting distance on him. That's it. Just judging distance. <laughs> and then there's a lower one rising. Look at that. Nice one. A good 12, 13. This is on parachute emerger. There you go. We'll show it to you. Oh. Well, I can't count our shit. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So, let me clean this fly off. And, um,. Oh geez, it's still floating good. Well, okay. Let's see. There's a fly going down on top. See if that lower one takes it. Oh, he just lifted. Oh, maybe. Oh, he just lifted up. Okay, let's keep. Oh, there he is. That's a different one. That one might be a little easier to catch. Always take a little bit more out line than what you need. I'm just gonna try to puddle cast this with the wind blowing up my face. Boom, there you go. That should go right down to him. Right down, right down, right down. Oh. Nope. I think it came in. That wind is just killing me. Pretty close, pretty close, pretty close, pretty close, pretty close. You saw one rise above me? Oh. Ah, geez, just hooking around. That might be, that's still pretty good. It's not bad. Good lordy. Ah, wind, just killing me. So let's, yeah, but the other one in the, behind it stopped rising. No, got to go out further. Right around there. Oh, geez, there he is. He's pretty far down. See, I'll take a few more steps. Well, I could take out more line, but the wind comes. Boom. That's it. That's on the money. Oh, he didn't take it. I thought that was it. Boom. Oh my gosh. Now well, that's too in too close. Let it get down. Maybe there's another fish. Boom. Eh. Uh, got him. <laughs> oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah. I mean, he, I think he's a, probably a good 14, 15. That was awesome, guys. Awesome, awesome. Hendrickson's on pens.
Uh, probably 13. I don't know. We'll see. Come here. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come here. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, he's only around 13, but he's super fat. See that Hendrickson sticking right out of his mouth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, she's hot. She's hot or what? Uh -huh. Brownies talk to you. Come on, come on, come on. Look, look at that. Look at the dots on that dude. What is this fish? Okay. Okay, guys, that's it for me. I had my two days up here on Lower Pens, and I had a great time with my buddy Brett. And um, uh, we just caught a bunch of fish underneath uh, in the mornings. There was a lull in the afternoon, and uh, the Hendricksons are on. There's stoneflies on. There's olives on. There's caddis. Um, geez, everything. But not much top water action, just a little bit that we had here tonight. Uh, they weren't that hard to fool. And um, as long as you place it over your head and uh, in the beginning. But so the, the Hendricksons are just starting right now. And um, today's Thursday. So uh, each day, more and more. Yesterday we didn't see that much. Today we saw a lot more. And we saw some surface activity. So I guess tomorrow and every, you know, each day after is going to get a little bit better. So. You know, if you want some hindrance in action, get up here on pens, okay? Uh, they should be hitting all the other area streams pretty soon, too. So, um, uh, the Echo Shadow X Nymph and Rod did really good. Oh, look at that. We're going to show you up here. Brett just got one. <laughs> you get him on a Hendrickson? Adams. Adams. Okay. Another one just came up right here. Yeah, I saw him. I heard him behind me. <laughs> um, but I got a three hour long ride home and uh, so I want to get home in time say hi to my dog <laughs> and um, but like I said the Shadow X rod performed great for me if I have to say what my opinion is it's a little on usually like I said more typical traditional limping rods have a uh, stiffer butt section and they have a nice soft tip this one a little bit more stiffer and I don't mind that I like a stiffer rod um, I use 4x most of the time if you guys um, use 5 and 6x 6x and you're using those mono rigs maybe maybe the uh, you know maybe stick with a more traditional uh, type or maybe go with the, the uh, 2x uh, I mean um, a 2 weight they have a uh, 11 foot 2 weight but this 11 foot 3 weight I'm using four weight line and um, it was perfect for me okay perfect for me but I know there's a lot of guys out there who use five and six X and on their tippets and they like that real light feel and um, so I, I I think you know go with the two weight so um, other than that like I said I hope you guys enjoyed it if you liked it give it a thumbs up we had some, a lot of actions a lot of big boys on <laughs> thank God for editing because there was a lot of crying going on too but uh, thanks a lot guys I will I don't know where I'm going next week but uh, I'll see you again soon bye